Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. I hope this video finds you well. Thank you so much for joining me. And today I want to make a video to make three fragrance recommendations for Father's Day. Now I know fragrances are more or less ubiquitous in terms of the occasions for which they may be purchased for a friend, a family member, a loved one, whatever the case may be. And fragrance is also a very personal thing. So a, not, a, a lot of us choose to go down that route of purchasing a fragrance for somebody that we really care about. And this is the opportunity to show our father how much we care about him by buying a fragrance for him. Now, I know I get a lot of big questions when it comes down to what fragrances should I buy for XYZ person. It all depends on what that person's line of work is. It depends on when they're going to wear it, how old that individual is, but also what your price range is. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to give you three recommendations. One is on the lower tier, one is on the lower level, one is a little bit more expensive, and then the third one is of course far more expensive, although it could be had online for a discounted price as long as you buy it from a, le a legitimate um, authorized retailer that does not sell knockoffs or counterfeits. So let's go ahead, let's get into the list. I'll give you my rationale after each fragrance that I mentioned, and I'll tell you why I would recommend this fragrance for your father. Now, the reason why I went with this first fragrance, which is on the lower tier, is because it has a very gentlemanly appeal to it. I know one of the fragrances that um, I wore, and I remember a lot of other people, my friends' fathers wore all the time, is a fragrance by Davidoff called Cool Water. And I think it's very iconic of us to think about fragrances like Polo by Ralph Lauren, Dracar Noir by Guy La Roche, because those fragrances have like fir and oak moss and pine and some other resins that give them this sort of green, herbaceous, mature feel to them. But we saw that phase where gentlemen were trying to uh, sort of branch out into fragrances that smelled a little bit more youthful. They had a younger appeal to them. And I think Cool Water is the one that really paved the way for aquatic scents. Now this one is a more gentlemanly version and not as casual of a version of Cool Water. This one is a little bit more mature, but I love it. It's incredibly versatile, incredibly wearable. The performance of this fragrance is spectacular, and this could be had in the $30 to $40 range, which I think a lot of us would say is not a lot of money to spend for our father. And this one is by a company called Armoth, and the fragrance is called Tre Nuit. Now this is a sort of bright, uplifting, citrusy, violet, lemongrass sort of scent, and it just speaks gentlemen every time you smell it. It's a wonderful scent. I want to show you a little bit of the detail in the bottle. It really is such a beautiful, stunning presentation. You have this leather binding that covers the perimeter of the bottle. It's this um, sort of mildly transparent, mostly opaque glass, beautifully written uh, logo here on the front. Just a wonderful, wonderful scent. If you can get your nose on this, please do. I think this would make a wonderful fragrance for the man in your life. The next fragrance that I would like to recommend is a little bit on the higher tier, on the higher level, and I've actually gotten through an entire bottle of this fragrance. That's how often I wear it. And I've acquired a second bottle that I plan on wearing and opening up very soon. This one is, of course, from a, a more recognizable brand. And this one is by Christian Dior, and the fragrance is called Sauvage. Now, there is a caveat here because you can go either one of two ways. If uh, your father is on the older side, I would recommend going with a fragrance called Eau Sauvage Parfum. And I think that made my recommendations list last year. This one is a little bit more youthful than Eau Sauvage Parfum. This is the simple, plain Sauvage. And every single woman that I have encountered in my life ranging from <laughs> my mother to my wife to just everyone, family, friends, they all say that they love this fragrance and there's something really special about it. I know a lot of people online might mention that it's a very sort of simple and plain and generic scent, but there is this special quality about it that has um, this capability of garnering a lot of compliments and for that reason, I would recommend this as a mid-tier fragrance for uh, your father. Wonderful, wonderful fragrance. It has notes of citrus, bergamot, and broxen, some subtle woods in the background, just very classly, very gentlemanly, and you can wear it in a wide range of occasions and scenarios. And the last recommendation that I would like to wait, make, excuse me, for uh, the person in your life, for your loved one, is a fragrance, and um, it's a little bit of a, a higher-end purchase, but it's by a company called Creed. And this one is called 
green Irish tweed. Now, this fragrance has been out since 1985, so it's not a more recent release like Dior Sauvage and Armaf, uh, but it is um, a fragrance that it, it has a timeless quality to it, and that's why I recommend it. That's why I suggest it, because a lot of fragrances smell dated. A lot of fragrances are evocative of that time period, of that era. This one, if I smelled this on a gentleman walking down the street today, I would feel like he's completely contemporary, completely youthful. This has not been dated. It has not lost its youthful appeal. And these two smell remarkably similar to one another. So if you don't have the money to shell out for this one, I, I do have to make a notice of this. This one does smell a little bit more natural. It does smell a little bit... Um, a little fresher, if you will. This one, it has a little bit more of a sweeter edge in the background, but they're all three of these smell very gentlemanly. These are fragrances that I completely trust. I own uh, 500 plus bottles in my collection and I have smelled thousands more and I have met some of the most celebrated perfumers and I, I know what I'm talking about when it comes to fragrance. So um, these are all wonderful fragrances and I can vouch for all three of them. But I am going to make one final recommendation and this is something that I believe in. If I didn't, I wouldn't mention it to you. This is a product called Centrunk and I have my box here and if you can tell on the back, it has a lot of social media uh, platforms and outlets where you can find this online. And what I love about this company is that you can go online and you can take a personality survey or a personality quiz, if you will, and um, they will send you three samples according to the fragrances or according to um, your quiz results. So if you specified that you like, you know, being at the beach, there might uh, they might throw in uh, brighter, more citrusy fragrances, lighter, more aquatic fragrances. If you said that you would rather go hiking in a forest, they would give you woodsy, resinous, dark fragrances. So I think it's a really cool product. I'll open it up for you, show you what it looks like inside. So you see how you have that little felt pouch on the inside and um, three samples. And of course, it also has cards in there where you can find the fragrance, what it's about, what it smells like how long it's gonna last, how well it's gonna project, the price point, the country of origin. I mean, really, they this company makes sure that they have all of their bases covered. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching my video. These have been my recommendations for um, your father. You know, it's a great day. I hope everybody has a wonderful Father's Day, whether you're grilling in the back or just keeping it low key, staying inside and watching a movie with a cup of tea. I want you guys to have a good time. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel and supporting what I do. And please don't forget to subscribe for future videos, top tens, giveaways, unboxings, and a lot of other fragrance related content. So on that note, I smell well so you can smell good and we'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care.